In your health news, more Americans are getting plastic surgery, and there seems to be an increased focus on boosting the behind. Last year, demand for butt implants and lifts increased dramatically. But what is behind this, well, big trend? Dr. Mitchell Goldman, as he is every Tuesday, is joining us now with more on this procedure. Hi, Dr. G. It's true, they're getting <laughs> bigger. Well, tell me then, um, give me an idea. What, uh, who, who are getting these and, and what's involved in, in butt augmentation? Is it really that popular? Well, it actually is. It's gone up about 15% in the last year alone. Now, a lot of it, of course, is due to the Kardashians and other high profile celebrities that sort of have a little bit of augmentation back there. But um, it actually is a very good procedure when done properly. And so the most important thing that we can get from this little interview is to do it properly and go to a right physician. Because the problem is, if you don't go to a, a physician that's reputable and you go to someone else, like a nurse in a hotel room, it can be actually be devastating. And there have been cases across the country, 20 deaths in the last year alone, of buttocks augmentation gone wrong when it's been done like in a hotel room where people are putting anything from industrial grade silicone to cement into the buttocks. Yeah, it's almost like a Botox party that you hear about, although that they're using things that aren't, uh, as you said, uh, the proper substances. So tell me, when you're getting a butt augmentation, do you have to get implants or are we seeing people using fatty tissue from other parts of the body and having that injected? Yes, well, there you can do it a number of different ways. You can do a silicone implant, just like you would do for the breast, you can do for the butt. But more and more, what doctors are doing is we're trans transferring fat from one area to another. And so it's very common to take fat from the stomach area or the love handles and to insert it into the buttocks. And the reason that's a really nice procedure is because the fat will last forever. It's your own fat. It's not a foreign substance. And it actually will give you a very nice result. At the same time, as you're augmenting the buttocks and sort of lifting it up, you can also get rid of the cellulite. And so there's a number of different things that can be done at the same time. Well, tell me, what is the recovery time if you go the route of implants? Because to me, that sounds like that would be pretty uncomfortable. Well, it does sound like that, but it isn't. Patients can actually sit down the, the next day. And so if you do the silicone implants for the... Uh, when you're going to start to want to exercise and do lunges, that's going to be a few weeks. When you do fat transfer, really there's no downtime at all and you can almost go back to doing lunges and buttocks uh, exercises the next day. But most important thing is you have to be very careful to go to a qualified uh, physician, which would be a plastic surgeon or dermatologic surgeon, in order to get it done properly. Now, I wanted to mention just one more thing. You know, sometimes we're doing these implants not just to augment the buttocks. I have a patient who is a kidney transplant patient who is very cachectic or lost a lot of fat and when she would sit down she actually would develop sores on her buttocks mm. because she didn't have a lot of fat and so taking the fat from one area and transplanting it in that area basically cured her of having these sores on her buttocks and so sometimes it's not just to be more beautiful but can actually be helpful as well. Well, I think everyone from my generation and older is going, what? Because we've spent our lifetimes trying to do the reverse. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, we can also be lifting them up a little bit, too, because what ends up happening when you get to be a little older is the buttocks can actually sag. And so you can actually <laughs> yeah, lift Dr. it G, up. Yeah, Dr. G, I didn't need a medical license to get that one. <laughs> but, <laughs> well we, <aware. laughs> but we can actually lift it up with a few different techniques as well. All right, Dr. G, always good to have you in the house. And it's true, it's popular. And uh, he said, make sure you find the right physician. Thank you.